Welcome back to Pirate Studios, and welcome if this is your first time. Today's mix breakdown is going to be the new single from Faith Head called Aberrations of Reality. I recorded, mixed, and mastered this, and was a, just I was super involved with this song and super involved with the whole album that we're working on right now, writing and producing and playing so we're gonna i'm gonna go over the mix that um i did if you haven't heard the new song you should check it out link in the description um to go over and check it out on whatever streaming service you use and check out the music video uh, in in the barn <laughs> where we recorded most of it and uh check it out and uh hope you like it Please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button, share with your friends. So I'm going to break down everything that's going on in the mix. So let's do it. Okay, so let's check it out a little bit. Okay, if you want to hear the whole song, um, go check it out, because it's killer. Um, so, first, let's start off with the drums. If you don't have a good drum sound, you won't have a good song sound. So, the, there's no samples on these drums. Here's the drums all by themselves. Um, I heard a comment, said somebody said uh, the drums sound raw. Well, it's because they are. <laughs> so I take that as a compliment because they sound killer. Okay, so I guess the best way to go about this is just to go and I'll let you hear piece by piece how um, I how I mix them. So I guess we'll start off with the kick first. I have two kick mics and they're going to a bus. They're going, I have two kick mics and they're going to the bus. You may have seen in the video, there's a big freaking subwoofer in front of the, uh, in front of the bass drum. Well, that's actually got a mic microphone cable soldered to it and it's being used as a mic. Um, I'll get to that in a second. First, we got the main kick mic, which is an Audix D6. And here it is all by itself. Really slappy. And the reason is, is because I took, it's got a gate, first of all, just to kind of help with the bleed. But um, what we did is I put a high pass filter on it and got rid of all the low end, uh, almost all of it. Here it is without it. with it. So this mic will do it all, all by itself, but I like to have the low on its own, the sub kick, so to speak, which is the subwoofer. Here's the subwoofer all by itself.
hopefully you're listening to something other than your cell phone because uh you're not gonna be able to hear low frequencies worth the crap so that one is gated too and then it's going into a compressor i'm using this limiter plug-in as a compressor basically and then it's going into the eq and i've cranked up the bass so let's i'll turn off all the stuff bypass chain here's the sub kick without anything on it you can hear that snare bleeding and then when we kick that all that in okay and then when we hear the two mics together you just blend the two mics together and then you have a volume knob for both of them together which is the bus cool okay so next we're going to go to the snare it's also got two mics on it and it's going to a bus So it's got two SM57s on it. Um, the, here's the top mic, and it's literally got nothing on it. I didn't EQ it or anything, which is weird. Um, I EQ'd both of them together afterwards. That's the top mic. Here's the bottom mic. Now I did EQ that one. I killed uh, the low end out of that the 200 I dropped it here's without and then I'll kick it in in okay so and then you then you use the two together and it's going to this SSL channel strip this is SSL EV2 these are mostly all waves plug-ins too by the way so here's without and then I'll kick it in in it's got more clang 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 crack if you wanted to get real dale dale likes to use pork pie snares so they got rings to them um doesn't really bother me because when you when you listen to the whole the whole thing the whole mix together it doesn't stick out to me anymore so like here it is here's just the drums If you try to hear it, you're going to hear it. But if you just listen to the whole song, you, you don't hear that stupid ring. All you hear is pop, pop, pop. That's all you hear. So you don't have to spend all your time worrying about this one little frequency that's annoying you when you listen to it all by itself. Think of the bigger picture. And uh, so there's the snare, like I said, and it's going through a reverb right here. It's called verbiage. You can actually get it for free and, and it will bug you to tell you to get a license, which I paid for. And I put the license where it says to go, but it still acts like I didn't pay for it. I don't know why. Anyway, so here's without and I'll kick it in. That actually amplifies that, that sound too. And then I'll put a limiter on it. Just a drum limiter. Just keep it from uh, peaking going into the red okay so next is the toms and we'll go to the beginning because it's really letting you hear tom one and tom two let me check my camera okay cool it's not super hot i gotta worry about my camera overheating so here's the toms for four toms by themselves So they're going to a, a reverb <clears throat> after their EQ and compression. This is a free reverb. It's CPU heavy, but it sounds awesome. So here's just the big floor tom. It's got this EQ on it. I needed to raise up 8K because it's kind of muddy without it. Here it is without it. It's kind of muddy. You turn it on. Yeah. So, and then it's going to a compressor, which is not hitting very hard. Just barely. Same thing as the Tom 3, it's pretty much the same. 
Um, I raised 8K on it almost uh, all the way. And then the compressor, same. And then I use this plugin called Torque. This is kind of a secret weapon for toms. It's, uh, it's definitely a good alternative to replacing your drums with samples. If somebody, especially if you got people, which this isn't the case, Dale knows how to tune his toms very well, but sometimes with the heat and the cold in the room that we recorded his drums that they sit in, it's all fluctuating. It, it, you know, the wood is expanding and decompressing from the cold and the hot. So sometimes toms go out of tune and we, we may not realize it. So here's the tom without it. Then you, when you turn it on, you can focus on a certain frequency and you can detune it or tune it up and you can turn it up that certain frequency. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring more bottom end of that third tom. So here's out and I'll kick it in, you can watch it. See how much more low that is? It just, it's just killer. Um, Tom one and two, they're pretty much, there's not a whole lot going with them. Um, he doesn't play those as much in the rest of the song. Those just sound awesome. Here's Tom one and two. They're just going with the reverb. They got some EQ on them. Here's the EQ. That's, uh, you know, like 13 or 12K. I turned it up a tad, turned the um, high mid frequency up, um, put a high pass filter, not a whole lot. Um, pretty much probably just copied that. I'm surprised there's no compressor on Tom too. Guess it doesn't really need it. Okay, so next we've got the overheads. The only thing I did to them, those are Lewitts, by the way. So um, I told you what the tom, what the kick drum mic is. The um, Tom mics are also Audix. So the kick mic is the Audix D6 with a subwoofer. And then the Tom mics are the Audix D2s, I believe. Whatever the Tom mics are in that pack. Just checking my camera. So, and then the overheads are Lewitts. I'll link them in the description of the exact Lewitt pair, their match pair of overheads. They're like little toothpicks. Pretty cheap, um, but they sound great. The only thing I did was I, um, doesn't look like a, I think I may have just turned up the gain a little bit. Let's see. Okay, what, <laughs> yeah, I can, I already remember. What What you wanna do with the overheads is you wanna kill all the low end. So um, I put the, the high pass filter on 200, rolled it, rolled all that off. And um, that's, pretty mu that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot going on here. Normally I would turn up the mic. You want that red light to come on a little bit. This is a SSL EV2 channel and it is killer. It's a, it's a really, I'll probably do a video on like top five weights plugins to do everything. That would, that's gonna be one of them. So there's the overheads and they're, like I said, the left and the right don't have anything on them. They're just going to that stereo bus. And then you've got the room mics. These are this mic, which is a Lewitt 440 Pure and then a Audio-Technica AT2020 for the stereo overheads. And here they are. So you can see in the video, the music video, that we're not really in a very big room, but this plugin makes it sound as big as you want. Um, this is Chris Lord Algae um, mixed down plug in if they've got a mono and a stereo and then right here in presets it's got what section of the drums i'm sorry this isn't mixed down this is chris rolaldi drums cla drums it's got different sections so i went with room and rock legends just pretty awesome it's just, it, there's no messing around i'll kick it in here's without and then i'll kick it in
We don't want to sound like we're in a dang cathedral. This isn't Led Zeppelin, which that would be cool. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much it that's going on with the drums. So let's, and then they're all, the, the all four buses are going to a stereo bus where I'm doing a mixing, um, I'm sorry, a mastering plug-in, which is just CLA mix down. That's why I was thinking that. I, I love this. This is what I use all with every project. It's just, all it is is just, I'm using it kind of as a compressor, just kind of a limiter. And I leave it at the start me up, which is, that's the preset that it's on when you boot it up. And I just control this input volume. Most of the time I turn it down enough where it doesn't go in the red, which I didn't do this time. And, but it still keeps it from going in the red on the channel itself. So I'll uh, kick it, I'll leave it off and then let you, and then I'll kick it in. So yeah, it's not doing a whole lot. It's just kind of, kind of making sure it doesn't go in the red. You see it went in the red when I turned it off. But with that plug in, it doesn't. So that's kind of important to me. So, okay, next, guitar. Guitar is what we want. I've heard some compliments on the guitar tone, which is, I would take credit for it, but it's, it's not me. <laughs> it's, it's I, I played all the rhythm on this song, um, but all the credit goes to Neural Amp Modeler. This is a free open source plugin and it is machine learning. So it's AI um, computer machine learning that takes captures of real amps and mimics them with by learning the machine learning. And uh, someone named Drew Host. Drew Webster um, made a capture of his EVH 5153. Um, let me just go here real quick. Uh, made it uh, of his EVH 50, um, 5153 stealth blue channel with a TS9, which is a tube screamer on the blue channel with a TS9 and it's a full capture. So you can get this plug in for free and then you can get this capture for free and you just tweak the EQ however you want, like I did. This is the EQ I get, and I saved it in Reaper as a preset. But you'll have the exact guitar tone of the album. That's it. Um, um, it's pretty awesome. So here's, here's the guitar all by itself. So I did, I did not quad track, even though you can see four tracks. I just stereoed. I did, did uh, the, the little picking parts in the beginning separate because they're left and right. That's two different rhythm takes. Um, that way you get true stereo. So yeah, I'll leave the links to those so you can grab that because it's there's um, tone hunt tonehunt.com. Also, maybe it's tonehunt.org. Yeah, I'll leave the link for that. You can get all kinds of captures and all kinds of amps from all over the world for free. And it'll work in that plugin and work in any dock. So that's what's going on with the rhythm guitar. Now the solo, here's the solo. So that's going through this plugin, which is like a $10 plugin most of the time. It's an EVH. It's by a company from Mexico called Audio Assault. And it is now in the new amp locker, but this is the old version. It's in a new, they have a new uh, guitar amp plug-in that's got several guitars all in one, like Amplitude, if you're familiar with that. But this is AHM 5050. It's a, a copy of that. And then um, it's, it's got a pedal board in front of it with just your gate. 
a boost EQ boost and a tube screamer, which are not on. I EQ'd uh, the lead. Tyler sent me the DI of his guitar track, and then I EQ'd it. This is actually my setting that I tweaked myself with for myself for myself. And then I got it going into an orange cab and it's C cabs. I'll leave a link to all that. And then it's got delay and reverb on it. Cool, so now what do we got going on the bass? Here is the bass all by itself. Um, Pat um, recorded his bass through his pedal board and into a dry track. And here it is just dry. Other than being amplified, it already sounds good, just dry with his pedals. So then next, I ran it through a free plug-in, which is a Sans amp. Just amped it, pretty much. And then I put it on a limiter, just to peek it out as much as possible, and it keeps the volume perfectly level the whole time. That's another thing, is a big part of the guitar tone is what the bass is doing. So here's the guitar tone. Then you add the bass. So the bass helps fill it. So let's go to the vocals, main vocals. Um, we want five. It's time to wake up from your wet eyed sleep. It's time to draw the line before we're in too deep. So let's listen to it without anything. No auto tune. Um, bypass chain. This is just dry with this microphone. Lewitt 440 Pure. It's time to wake up from your wet eyed sleep. Then um, what I did was I added Shep's Omni Channel. That's one of my other top five. Just a preset called Agro. If you listen to it, you wouldn't think it would sound, it doesn't sound awesome all by itself. It's distorted. But when you mix it with everything else, it sounds great. Trick I learned from Chris Lord Algae, actually. It's time to wake up from your wet eyed sleep. Bypass. It's time to draw. Bypass the uh, reverb. It's time to wake up from your wet eyed sleep. See, it's distorted, but it's awesome. And then the reverb is just added just to taste. Yeah. That's just default. That's another Waves plugin. There's plenty of free reverbs. So you don't really necessarily need this one. But I just dry wetted it till it sounded good. It's time to wake up from your wet eyed sleep. And then it's got a limiter on it, um, just to keep it from peaking. Too deep. The grand design, these things weren't meant to be. So, and then I did backup vocals in certain spots, and I pretty much just copied the the EQ and all that stuff over to mine and just leveled it out. The, the grand design, these things weren't meant to be. And here's me by myself with no auto tune. The grand design, these things weren't meant to be. Here's no effects. The grand design, these things weren't meant to be. Yep. The grand design, these things weren't meant to be. Cool. 
Now, the last, very last thing I'm gonna show you about the song, and let's make sure the camera's still good. Yep. Um, is what's going on in the bridge section in between the chorus and the next verse. So what we got here is Patrick, and I'm gonna let you hear it. Here's just his voice without the demon, without the demon on it. <laughs> and what I did was I put a, it's called, it's a telephone preset, but it, it's really a loudspeaker. But well, here's him, so you can, so you, you're gonna know what he's saying right now. Behold the thing not meant to be. Behold the thing not meant to be. And then we added this cool plugin called Dehumani <laughs> Dehumanizer Simple Monsters by Krotos, and I'm don't know a whole lot about it, but um, I just kind of tweaked it and we got a demon sound and here it is all by itself. And that's why I blended the other one in so you would try to help tell what he's saying. You can't make any of that out. So here it is again together. Cool. So that's, there you go. Now you know what it's saying, what, what Patrick's saying. Now the very last thing, just to put some little icing on the top of the song, is something I added during that part. I can't hear it, but um, it's during the, I added these, I wanted torches to, I thought of torches during that part to come in. And so I, I got this uh, pack that I paid for stuff after effects and stuff to add to your production and stuff like that. So I thought it would work. So it's uh, called, I just named it fire, but here it is. Here it is all by itself. It's cool. But if you add that with the drums, That's just killer. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's the song. Aberrations of reality. Check out Patrick's video on what the song's about. And if you like this song, Stay tuned, I'm going to try to, I'd like to make one of these mix breakdowns for every single one of the songs on the album. That would be great. Um, if um, I got one other mix breakdown before this one that I've done, um, I'm mixing one of my cover tunes, All the Small Things by Blink-182. If you like this kind of stuff, check that out. I'll leave the, um, it'll be at the end of this video. You'll see it in pop up. Anyway, please hit the subscribe button and please like this video and share it. Please check out the new songs, Faith Heads, Aberrations of Reality, and on all your streaming services, I'll leave the link. I'll leave the link to um, Neural Amp Modeler, like I said, and the where to get that EVH to play through it. I'll also leave a link to Audio Assault stuff, because they're awesome. And I've got an affiliate link with um, Waves plugins, so you can get like a discount on top of the discount that they always have. Their plugins are normally like 30 bucks a piece. So you can get a small discount and it helps me out too. Um, so yeah, if you like this, please come back and we'll hope to see you soon. And keep on rocking.